Hello, and welcome to Sick Kids. This is Kiara and her mom. She's here today for a CT scan. We're going to follow her through her appointment today so you can see where you have to go and what you have to do when you get a CT scan. CT is part of diagnostic imaging. Some of the diagnostic imaging department is located on the second floor in the Burton Wing. There is a registration area just off the Burton elevators. Here, you will check in with the front desk. You must give them your health card and you and your mom will fill out some important forms. After you register and the CT scan is ready for you, the nurse or the technologist will need to weigh you. You may or may not need an IV depending on the test your doctor has asked for. If you want, a nurse can put on some cream before she puts in the IV. This takes about 30 minutes to work, but will completely numb the area. Once it's in, you won't feel a thing. Also, if we're taking pictures of your tummy, you might have to drink something. It's called contrast, and we can mix it with something you like to drink, like apple juice or ginger ale. This helps the x-ray doctor, call the radiologist, see your pictures more clearly. There are two different types of contrast. One you drink to help see your tummy better, and one that goes in your IV to help see your veins better. This is the CT scanning room. Here's the CT scanner. It's shaped just like a giant donut. The camera uses x-rays to take pictures of the inside of your body. You'll lie very still on the bed and the part of your body that's being photographed will go through the donut hole, either head or feet first, depending on what part's being photographed. Technologist or nurse will make sure you don't have any metal on you, like jewelry or hair clips or coins in your pockets that will be in the way of the pictures we are taking. The tech will help you up onto the table and put you in a good position for the scan. If your caregiver is staying in their room with you, they will get a special apron made of lead to put on, just like the one Kiara's mom is wearing. scans are very quick and sometimes after the first scan the radiologist might want to see more detailed pictures. Remember the CT contrast I told you about? It helps the radiologist see parts of your body you can't see without it. When the contrast goes into your IV it doesn't hurt at all and some kids feel a warm sensation. This is completely normal. You will also hear the technologist on the microphone reminding you to stay still and telling you when to hold your breath to get the best pictures possible. And that's a wrap. Time to finish up and go home. Wow, Kiara and her mom did great. The tech now will help you off the table and you can get your IV taken out. That was easy and didn't take too long at all. Here's what some of your CT pictures look like. Pretty cool, right? At SickKids, it's our mission to make sure every CT scan is performed using the lowest dose of radiation possible. Your scan will be set up especially for you using your weight or age so we can get the answers your doctor is looking for. We only scan the necessary area and our staff have specialized knowledge and experience in taking CT pictures of children just like you. We always look for ways we can make it better and we update our CT scanner with new technology to keep the dose as low as we can possibly go. I hope you feel a little more prepared for your CT at SickKids. Good luck and we'll see you soon.